Today, I had the opportunity to test out the 2021 Model Y and the 2021 Mach E. Both of these cars are pretty great, and it truly depends on the what the buyer is looking to do. The Tesla um, underperformed as far as efficiency. The Mach E was a bit more efficient. The Tesla has wider tires than the Mach E. The Tesla also offers more room than the Mach E, about four cubic feet more than the Mach E. The trunk space is definitely deeper on the Tesla. The Mach E charges more and more efficiently than the Tesla. Um, you'll see in the notes that the Mach E was able to pull 41 kilowatts in 25 minutes. The Tesla pulled. Um, 40 kilowatts in 25 minutes so it was definitely more efficient as far as front space the tesla model y has a whole lot more space than the mach e but they're both usable and the seats in the tesla are not as comfortable as they are in the mach e um i just don't feel the support i feel like the seats are a little rough another thing that i mentioned were the vents you can't adjust these vents at all, so therefore the, the wind that gets pushed out just comes straight out to whatever it hits. So if you're taller, shorter, you're adjusting your seat, trying to get that air to hit you just right, I'm not a fan of that, but you know, to each their own. One of the things about this Model Y, which is cool, is it has a wireless charging pad right there. Um, the Mach-E also has one, I'm gonna show that to you here in a second. Another feature I like about the Mach-E is that you have this interface in front of you that gives you your speed, it gives you your distance to the cars in front of you, you can see how many miles you have on the car. Tesla made things a lot simpler and for some folks it works. They included it all into their interface into that center screen, which, you know, that's fine. Um, I like to see how fast I'm going right here, I like to see what's going on right here. Another cool feature of the Mach-E that I like is that it does have a wireless charging pad where the Model Y has one as well. The cool part about this is I could take my AirPods and stick them down there and I'm able to charge them. In the Tesla, I can't do so because it's on a slant and as little as that is, I like to charge my AirPods and having that uh, uh, functionality, I appreciate it. One of the cool features about the Mach-E is and Tesla has it as well, is when you punch in the directions of where you wanna go, let's say we're gonna to go to Columbia, South, Carol South Carolina. I had punched that in earlier before, 223 miles away. The cool part about the Mach-E is that it's gonna give you driving um, options. So you can decide which option you wanna take, whether it's the shortest route, the fastest route, um, or the echo route. And what will it will do as well is it's gonna show you those routes on the map. So then that way you can decide which route do you wanna take. So as you see, we have option one. Let's see, it's telling me that's gonna be the best option. If I go option two, you see it highlights a different way. Option three is gonna be 307. So of course I'm gonna to wanna to go the shortest, most efficient route. It's gonna take me the same time it is for the fastest route. But if I hit go, What's gonna happen now is it's gonna calculate my route and it's, then it's going to add all my charging stops on there. Please drive this to highlighted route. This car is confident that, confident that from my house, I can make it all the way to Columbia, South Carolina and have 6% by the time I arrive there. Would I do that knowing the Mach-E? Actually, I would because 6%, I know I'll be fine, especially if I'm going to a hotel that has a charging station. I'm not concerned about it because I know that it will get me that 259. Let's go see what the Tesla says for that same route. So here with the Model Y, we are at 90%, which yes, given the Mach-E is at 100% right now. At 90%, the Mach, the Tesla is claiming that it could get 287 or so. So if we type this in to go to Columbia, South Carolina, you'll see what, what it comes up with. So first things first it shows you that we'd have to stop just north of savannah for 20 minutes um we'll arrive there at 38 percent and then charge for 20 minutes leave and go to columbia if i remove the charging stops um because this car says it can go 326 uh, i think that that 10 percent shouldn't make that much a difference and i'll actually charge the car up to 100 percent to see 
but even now if it if we were to hit the road at 90 percent in the model y it says that i would arrive with negative three percent so as far as display goes we could go ahead and see what how many what the distance is so 287 miles is what this car shows but it's telling me that i can't travel 260 miles or i'll get there with negative three percent if i have 287 and i'm only going 260 how do i get there with negative three percent so that confuses me